day after he announced plans to change the U.S. surveillance programs, President Obama has a rare interview with German TV saying that he would not let intelligence work damage relations between the two countries. The NSA has been accused of tapping the cell phone of German Chancellor Angela Her Merkel in the meantime. Here in the United States, there is mixed reaction to the president's NSA proposals. Elizabeth Pran is in Washington with the latest. Well, President Obama clearly said he's not ending the surveillance programs. He did propose a number of tweaks. The NSA will need court's permission before accessing American stored phone records. The agency will no longer monitor allied leaders. And Congress is tasked with creating a panel to monitor the ongoings of the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court. The president saying these practices are keeping Americans safe. What I did not do is stop these programs wholesale. Not only because I felt that they made us more secure, but also because nothing in that initial review and nothing that I've learned since indicated that our intelligence community has sought to violate the law or is cavalier about the civil liberties of their fellow citizens. This stance is a far cry from the then Senator Obama back in 2008, who criticized surveillance programs as a violation of civil liberties. His shift is eliciting passionate reactions. Privacy advocates say new technologies are reaching too far into Americans' lives. Others say the president needs to look at things differently now that he's president and not a senator. I think you get a little bit wiser when you put your hand on that Bible and all of a sudden the lives of every single American, you're, you're responsible for that. What I heard was uh, the president President saying, if you like your privacy, you can keep it. But meanwhile, he's going to keep collecting all of your data. The Patriot Act, specifically Section 215 pertaining to phone metadata collection, expires in 2015, which means the next battle is already brewing. Greg, back Elizabeth to you. Elizabeth Brand, thanks very much, Elizabeth.